everyone, welcome back to another The Mori Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch, of course, and we are playing in Acre in our 30 day challenge. And finally, on day 19, KK is here to do a concert. He's throwing us straight in, which I suppose is a good thing because um, it was delayed a day because of the fireworks, which is kind of weird. But thank you so much for being here and joining me on this journey. We can probably really try to make up some ground now and, and make some progress and start hopefully working towards what might be our final island during this challenge. So thank you for being here. Hey, Acre is real groovy being here today. Feels like this dream I once had when I was just a scruffy pup with a shoebox guitar. I was dreaming of hitting out on my, um, on my own, wondering wherever my road would take me. Dreaming of finding a magical place where cool cats like you would come together to see a stray like me. Oh, what a, what a nice story. Sorry about that, I do run on. Time to get your fingers snapping. Here we go. Everyone's waiting so patiently. Everyone's in sync as well. They're just waiting patiently. Right on, this one goes out to all of you cool cats on Acre. I call it Welcome Horizons. Okay, this is cool. Finally, we have KK. We may as well sit and enjoy this, I think. Everyone's looking so peaceful. Tom look doesn't look too impressed though, I will say. I expected him to be more excited than that. I love the way it goes through all the seasons as well. There we go, we get to see the back of KK's guitar as well. He has some cool stickers on there, which you don't usually get to see. Which is pretty interesting. There we go. It feels like a great way to start the episode, but also a bit of a weird way to start the episode because this kind of wraps up the story mode of New Horizons. It's the longest it's ever taken us to get to this point, um, but I'm so glad we're finally here because we still have so much to work towards, but everyone seems very happy with that and excited. KK's so chill as well. It's just like, yeah, you, you can give me a round of applause. I'm just going to sit here. I'm, an, I'm a nobody. <laughs> But also he knows, he kind of knows he's a superstar as well. Oh, he's gone. Hello, Maury. Did you enjoy KK's concert? It was wonderful, wasn't it? I'm overjoyed that we could get him to play here. It's a special thing for sure. As a commemorative gift, I have his song Wa uh, Welcome Horizons for you. It's a bit weird that the fireworks hold this off because I would understand it if he was still on the plaza or hanging around, but he, he just comes and goes, so like, why couldn't they do that on a fireworks night? Uh, I listen to it. You need an item that can play music, and I do hope you enjoy it. I have some big news too. KK is apparently very fond of our island now. He's going to perform a show here every Saturday evening from now on. It really is amazing. Acre was once a deserted island, but now we host important concerts. I'm so thankful to you and everyone else on this island. I guess my getaway package idea is a success. I hope Acre remains an enjoyable place to live 
for a long time to come. Or at least the next 11 days. <laughs> With your help, it will! Speaking of which, I've developed a new app that should help you make this island even more inviting. Let me send it to you now! Is this the construction app? But we have to buy the licenses, I think. Is that right? I don't remember. Yes, it is the construction app! Island Designer, that's right. Woo! Uh, the app I've just sent you is called Island Designer. It's a special app from Nook Inc. that gives residents the ability to take part in bold island development. At first, you only have permission to create paths, but you could use your miles to access more. Uh oh, we need more miles! Different kinds of paths and per. That's right, permits. I keep calling them licenses, but permits is the right word. For changing our cliffs and rivers. Once you get a taste of the island design, I think you'll want more. I think everyone's super hyped that KK was here. What, are you, what is uh, Ellie holding? What is... What was that? I encourage you to obtain all the necessary permits. Yes, yes, Aiko's come a long way. What are they holding? Is it like a piece of wheat? Hmm. I think I'll leave more and more of the future development of this island in the hands of its residents. I'm glad we had this talk, Mori. On behalf of Nook Inc, I'm excited about our continued partnership and your Acre plans. Well, thank you, Nook. Well, there we go. Um, we have finally completed what most people or some people refer to as the story mode. Um, and we pretty much have free reign now. I think we can even unlock Harv's Island and stuff like that. Um, or like the open air market. Wow, well, now that KK has performed, it's time to focus on making island life better and better. That means living each day to the fullest. Doing things I like, having lots of fun. Um, it also means it's going to be easier to do things like make rock gardens and stuff. Um, so there we go. What are you holding? It is one. Of, it is like a crop or something, isn't it? I think it is. What is what, where, do you, where do you get these things from? Anyway, let's see what we just earned uh, Nick Miles. Why? Probably uh, just to get uh, KK here, isn't it? Yeah, KK Mania. Oh, we get M Miles each time he visits. Right, we should probably go and check out. Whew, I need to I need to catch my breath after that. Probably should go and check out how much these permits are gonna cost us because we really I mean the terraforming one probably is the one we want the most because we're gonna want to start building up the land behind resident services, start moving some buildings. We've got basically 10 days left. And we're gonna need to move a building a day to keep on track. That's without even decorating or building slopes, things like that. So let's see where we're at. And I'm assuming they're all in here now. We don't have to talk to Nook, do we, I think? Um, are they in here? Here they are. Oh, 6,000 each? That's that's uh, pretty steep. We're going to have to do some serious... Um, Grinding for miles, I think. So we should probably go for the cliff permit first. That way we can lay some slopes down. So let's just go ahead and let's just do it. Let's just redeem this because we can worry about the water later. There we go. Isabel's like, finally, I've seen KK in real life. <laughs> um, your app has been updated. Okay, cool. There we go. So I can now do cliff construction with my island designer app. Oh, thank you, Isabel. Thank you. Tom looks like, yes, my plan is all coming together. I'm just going to sit here and smell my coffee steam. Okay, let's uh, let's get the construction thing out. I think we'll have to start clearing up. Let's just jump straight into some terraforming. This has been a long time coming. Um, right. I th don't think... Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> no, we don't want to save yet. Shortest let's play in history. Right, let's see. Um, island design is app how to develop the shape of the island. Yep, okay, okay. I think we've done this already. Uh, should I start the island designer app? Yes. Start construction. Uh, use the plus button. It's funny because I've forgotten all this. Use the plus button to switch between different construction options. That's right. There we go. We are in construction mode. Or we will be in a second. All right. Watch out, everybody. I've got a super duper shovel. Uh, rude. All right, let's do this. Okay, well, let's let's just do this. We're going to have to start digging up some trees, but... It feels so good to be able to do... Oh, yeah, we can't go next to the trees. Uh, it feels so good to finally be able to create some areas. Oh, my. Right. Do you know what would be really cool? If we could... 
use the construction shovel to dig up trees as well. I wonder if we can do that. Right, let's eat all these because we're going to want to move a bunch of trees, I imagine. I don't know how big this area is going to be. We want to put a slope up today. We want to move at least one house a day. I don't know if we can destroy a bridge the same day we're putting up a slope. I hope so. Right, let's see if we can dig up a tree with this. I don't think we can. Why? That, that would be such a good feature. Instead of having to switch shovels. It's, that makes no sense. <laughs> okay, so this has got to go. This obviously has to go. I think we're going to... Oh, that's right. We're going to have to put a gap around these trees, aren't we? But I think everything else is okay for the moment. Yo! Hey, you like reactions, right? Watch this! hi ya -choo. What? Uh, that was quite the sneeze. I hope it didn't scare anyone. Uh, well, you didn't scare me. We kind of saw it coming. Um, there's nothing like a good sneeze. See yourself for a sneezing reaction. Just what we needed. <laughs> right, this rock's gonna have to go. Probably should have checked it first, but we've got new tools, so let's just let's just get to it. Do you know how many of these we've got? Let's get rid of this one. Oh, we haven't got any more uh, left. Okay, so yeah, that makes it so weird. Changing shovel. It's still the same shovel, really, isn't it? So let's just let's just get some land raised behind here get some ho a house up here at the very least I don't think we're, we're gonna have to start going yeah we're gonna have to start going around these so that's the only downfall but you know what it's okay we'll make it work we'll, we'll stick some flowers in there which will be good to try and keep somewhat of an island rating and maybe we could focus on Doing maybe a little water feature or something behind here. We need to do something secret in this area here. I wonder, have we got big enough space to do anything here? It's only two tiles wide. We might end up having to make that a little wider. Oh, I forgot. It's so hard to aim, but it does feel good to finally have this feature. I swear in the past we've had this after like seven days. I don't know what took so long. I think our mistake was, of course, digging up the flowers. But we've learned from our lessons, so if you ever do something like this again in the future, I think, uh... I think I know where... Uh, we know where we went wrong. Right, we're gonna have to dig up our... Hybrids here, which is really cool. Our first lot of hybrids, that was. Um... What am I doing? Trying to go back to the cliff construction. There we go. So we're just gonna get one line down. And this is what we're focusing on today. It feels good to not be grinding for bells. We will still need to grind for bells, but... <laughs> right, we can't go that close. Oh, we can go that close. Oh, we can go right to the corner of Nook's Cranny. Okay, can we do that this side? That is weird. Is that what we did here? No. Interesting. So we're going to want a slope here, I think. So let's get things ready for a slope. I think we need four before we can arrange the slope. And in fact, just to be safe, we'll put a little extra edge because I don't want to have to Oops. change that later. Okay, let's go and get a slope kit. We should have plenty of money for now. Yes, this is looking good, finally. Some actual infrastructure. Well, not really even infrastructure, but just design. Just so it now finally looks a little bit different to a, an island you start with. I'm stuck! Okay, let's get in here. Let's go and buy a slope kit. I'm excited! And do you know what? In my opinion, the cheapest slope, the grass slope, is the best one anyway. At least I, from the top of my head as I remember it. Hey, what do you think of my construction hat and my wetsuit? Uh, look, I'm talking to you! Oh, he's looking at KK in his, in his magazine. Hey. <laughs> Um, why are you why are you dreaming about KK in the magazine? We do, we literally just had a concert. Like, <laughs> okay, infrastructure. Let's see here. There are a number of things we can discuss. So about inclines. There, I call them ramps because kind of what they were referred to for years on the original games. But um, I guess I should get in the habit of calling them inclines every time. Let's make an incline. 
Go ahead and pick from the catalogue. So yeah, the, the 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 natural ramp, the grass one, just looks coolest, doesn't it? These are cool, but I mean, unless you're building up to the museum or something, these are I've never used these steel ones. The brick one is okay. Maybe we could have those in some of the sort of communal areas. The stone one's okay for like museum builds, I think. Don't really like the log one. The white ones might be, and the blue ones, okay for near the beaches, but the, I don't know, the natural ramp just looks better in my opinion. Let me know your favorite one. Uh, maybe I could be persuaded to change it, but I don't know, I just like the simplicity of the grass one. Excellent, in that case, let's settle on location next. Use the inclined market kit I placed within your pockets. Okay. Um, right, while we're here, let's see if we can move a villager as well. Oh, this is exciting. Um, infrastructure. Uh, layout changes. Which building do you want to move? An island home. Oh, do we want to move the campsite maybe? No, not maybe not yet. Right, who, who are we keeping? We're keeping Maddie and Flora, aren't we? I'm not sure where we're going to put Flora yet. It kind of depends on how the layout goes. We might move her to the peninsula and make a bit of a tropical island there. If we get time. So let's move Maddie. I think we're keeping Maddie. Because she's small and sweet. And she just seems really lovely. So we'll move Maddie. Um, and we, we need to really get more friendly with Maddie anyway. Uh, let's talk Maddie. What she thinks of the idea. We haven't actually found a place yet Maddie. But we, we're going to work on it. Uh, I think that covers everything. So Maddie. Do you want to move where Maury thinks you should move? I'm totes down. Moving into a new place on the island will be a nice change of pace. I'm glad everyone's just so chill about it. Like, yeah, you can move my house. You don't even need to tell me where. Just, just move it. Okay. Finally. I, I, I finally feel like we're actually able to make some progress. I can't promise this is going to be amazing or anything, by the way. I'm definitely not um, one of the creative design island designers out there. Far, far from it. But we're going to give it our best shot to at least... Create some kind of front yards or side gardens maybe and, and and try and get them as close to each other as possible. A bit of a street down the middle maybe, I'm thinking. Having most of the houses kind of behind the resident services. Right, let's move this stuff. So I'm hoping we can get a, an incline right next to these bushes. Let's see here. No, not there. Try again. Move over one tile. I don't see uh, an even stretch of cliffs. Okay, so we need to go forward, I think. So we have to be in the fourth tile away, it looks like. Should I reserve this spot for a natural ramp? Oh, so they even call it a ramp here. Let me imagine. Just to double check. That's as close as we're going to get it without ruining the... Actually, it's weird that we can build cliffs along the back of a museum, but we can't build a ramp next to it. Um, is that a good spot? I think so. Let's just double check. I I think it said a second ago. Can we go close to that? What? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Why is it swapping sides? Okay, obviously it doesn't want to go there, so I'm guessing we can't get it flush with the museum. But that's fine. We like to have some kind of things down the side anyway. It just gives it, again, it gives it some character, so uh, yeah, that's okay. Um, I think yes. Let's go for it. All decisions, decisions, decisions. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't think we can adjust. Oh, we can adjust that. Okay, let's go and adjust the other one as well. Go down here, mind the flowers. Nice! Um, oh, we can't do that one just yet. Okay, let's get filling in this area. I don't know how far back we've got to go. So we're just going to we'll put a few rows down. We're probably going to need some fencing up here. We're going to want to get the water permit at some point so we can start giving it like a moat. I am thinking of just putting the entire island in water. It will make it easier to make a rock garden. 
And also, my envision is to make the smallest island possible, like an acre island. So it would make sense, at least for now, for the challenge, to put everything in... Surround everything with water. If we decide to expand on it later, we can start re-terraforming that out from water. At least that's the, uh... The theory, anyway. Right, I don't think we can do two at once, can we? But we're going to want to mark out the same amount here. Just so we can know roughly what we're working with. Okay. How do we get through? So, essentially another slope will go that side. And I think we need to do something cool or secret in here. Or maybe we can have the campsite in here. Could we make it... Would it be weird to have... Let me reset the camera here. Would it be weird to have the campsite, like, here? Do you think? Hmm. Or maybe we can make, like, a water feature or something? sure about that. Maybe that's food for thought because the campsite doesn't really have anything we can pair it with unless of course we create another islander and have a second tent. It's a shame cliffs don't help towards an island rating isn't it? Right let's just even this out and then we'll decide where we're going to put Maddie's house first. We should probably put it on the cliff side. Or the slope side, should I say. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's weird looking from above. But I do think... I know we said we're going to try and step away from the symmetry, but I do think... In terms of making a little community or a street or something like that, it's kind of... Symmetry works well, doesn't it? We have to kind of decide whether we want, like, a main plaza and then, like, houses in pairs. Or... I don't know. Right, if we've got a real axe here, I might just chop this tree down. Yeah, so interesting. So we now we're now going to have to be making decisions on exactly how the layout of our community because it's going to be like we, we're going to be moving Maddie probably into the, the the permanent place for now for the challenge at least. So let's get up here and have a little look. So the slope will of course come up here. This essentially will be the edge, so let's just drop a couple of, this is just sort of um, not permanent, but just to give us an idea, we're going to want an, an edge around the community, I think. We've actually got quite a lot of space here, but it might not be as much space as we think when we start putting plots down. So again, we're going to probably want a, fe a line of fencing. With some gaps in it. We're going to want a path. Which we could probably put down. Except we only have a dirt path at the moment. Um, yes. Oh, let's look, Miles. 
So we're going to want a path that's probably two tiles wide. Um, I'm just trying to plan out where do we put Maddie's house. I think the closer to the center as possible. Although we want a bit of a... Bit of a, a central feature, I think. Even if we have the campsite down the middle, we want it quite. We're gonna have to build this out, I think. Um, I wish we could move the campsite as well as the plot. Let's just get this to the end here. So this would kind of be one. Um, oh, we'll have to get rid of that one. One side of the path. So we need to double that up at least with terraforming. Hmm. Let's go see how big the campsite is again. The campsite is one, two, three, four wide. I think it's one, two, three. It's about four by four, or something like that. gonna at least come to here so we're gonna to want to terraform I think that's not gonna be big enough so we need to go to here if we put the campsite in the middle that is going to have to be something like this and the campsite is going to have to go here so let's just do the same this side so we can mark that area out and then we'll have a good idea where maddie's house is going to go move out the way dragonfly or prepare to get squished um have i done that right oh yeah that was right That was right. But yeah, we could even turn it into like a fossil exhibit or something. It doesn't have to be the campsite, but we need to make it big enough in case we choose to make it the campsite. I think. I'm pretty sure the campsite will fit in here. Not there. Two, three, four. Yes, yeah, so that's the width of it, isn't it? And I don't think we could get... I think that's got to be the front of it. I don't think we're going to get any closer. So that's going to end up having to go into the water. So we're going to need the water permit for that one. Right, we're going to have to move these flowers as well. So this is where Maddie's house is going to go. I don't really have any plans other than trying to keep things as close together as possible. Um. Oh my goodness. <laughs> trying to get that last flower. Right, there we go. It is funny that you can't see too much. I do wonder if the next Animal Crossing will eventually have like an open world 360 camera. Let's get to terraforming a little area. I mean, this thing is going to have to go quite far back to go around the campsite anyway. But we're going to need some gaps between houses. mustn't forget that we can even we can terraform on top of these as well so we'll probably have one set of houses below or on this level and then one set of houses on the next level but 
it does feel good to actually do something productive. Even though we have got this far, to be fair, and we've enjoyed some relaxing times, but we have done a lot, to be fair. Right, let's see how much we're working with. Let's just fill this last one in and then this last line up here. I think we might even need one more line. But we'll see if we can work with this. We'll do one more line just to be safe. So our second path will go along here, won't it? Um... Okay, this should be enough to work with, I think. So we're gonna have like a main street along here. Eventually this will be like a road path maybe. I don't really know what I'm envisioning, but it's, it's some kind of street if we can make it look like that. Um... We're gonna have to buy like the proper path or try and find one. So it's gonna be this thick. I'm hoping this plot is big enough. Right, let's see, let's see what how much space we're working with here. No, it's not enough space. We need it back a tiny bit. Yes. I think. Um, do we want to put some fences down first? I think we need to put some fences down first. Keep cancelling it for some reason. Right, let's go and get some more picket fences. They're the coolest fence anyway. But we've got plenty dotted around. Oh, feels good to get back to the normal camera angle. Here we go. Again, we might change these later, but... I'm hoping it's not going to remove them. Oh. And what did we get in the balloon? An office cabinet. Some bells there that we can use. Oh, I think we have the right wing. Oh no, that's another left wing. I think, I think we have two left wings. Let's get up here. So I'm hoping it doesn't remove these fences. It might though. We should try and give everyone a different fence to make it look more realistic. Um, so the thing is, I want each one to have a little garden area, but we also want to make it as compact as possible. Right, let's just have a look. That's really cute! Is that, that's probably big enough for a garden, isn't it? I mean, maybe the ones closer can have like... 
a small garden, but we could always do like bigger ones later on. Um, behind them. Yeah, let's do that. That looks really cute, actually. And that, the small, simple picket fence really suits Maddie's house. Um, I'm hoping that's enough space anyway. If we put another fence in, I'm wondering, does that eat too? Oh, we haven't got any more. We might end up having to leave it quite open. Um, right, what I'm thinking actually is, yeah, that's okay. How much uh, Nick Mars have we got? Only 500? Um, oh, and another thousand. Okay, cool. So what was that then? Was that just to... Oh, the path and the cliff. Okay, so we haven't got the water one yet. Okay, okay. Finally, some progress. So the first house is in. We've got a plot. Oh yeah, we better pay Lloyd, otherwise we're not going to get it tomorrow, are we? Um, here is your ninety-eight thousand bells. Bit of a rip-off, but whatever. Who am I to judge? So we might only be able to afford like one path in the end. Um, huh? Hey, we meet again! Let's talk. Hey Maury, all set for Saturday's bug off. Saturday's bug off! I've been working on my triceps for weeks. These bugs won't know what caught them. You say so. Did you just che Did you just put glasses on? Right, let's check our mail and see what we've got. Agnes. Oh no! I went back to my hometown to see peeps from my old days. Funny, I remember them as being way wilder than they are now, but I guess I've settled down too, huh? Time will do that too. What? Have you left? No way. No, Agnes is still here. Maybe she's just talking about a trip. Right, okay, what to do? We could keep working on the cliffs. But we need to also think a little bit about how we want this to play out. Can we squeeze through here? No? Right, we're gonna have to cut some more trees down. So we might as well start making some sh space, I think. Can we just eat some? Oh, we haven't got any potatoes. Right, let's eat these and get rid of some trees because there's plenty of trees to remove out of the way. So we can also include things like a park area, things like that, maybe a town square. Um, but keep it minimal, I'm thinking. So we're going to want also, like, probably a little pathway. What am I doing? We're digging up trees. Um, pathway between the plots, I think. Um, oh no! <laughs> I forgot we still had uh, a fruit on us. Right, so let's do a little bit more. So I'm thinking we could probably have a little path. No. <laughs> Between the plots and then have someone right next door. It's a shame we can only move one at a, one a, one a day. But it's funny, after this point in the game, the game feels totally different, doesn't it? So this is potentially the edge that we're doing now of the next plot or garden. There we go. It's so hard to see which... No! Which one we're actually filling in.
so yeah we don't have that much space actually but i think by the time we've moved another plot in up to here we've got we'll have a little space maybe for another slope it depends where we put a slope up to the next level but we do need to fill in this area so we can see kind of what we're working with and don't forget we've got to do the same the other side as well but we won't do that today because uh, it does take a little time to just keep terraforming. It's going to take so long to remove all the trees and dig out the rest of the island if that's the direction we go. But I kind of just want to get the fence in for the next plot so we can get a bit of an idea of how much space we're working with. Here. Um, and hopefully now, I know some people have kind of said they don't really get what I was talking about. And that's totally understandable because I'm so bad at explaining myself. But really, we're just trying to go for minimal design, smallest island possible, close community, buildings as close together as possible, but also not to remove the ability to maybe give them a little garden, things like that. So that's what we're going with. So at least if we plot out the next plot, we can really see things coming together, I hope. So we'll just square this off. Like so. Do you know what would be cool is if, if you could hold a shoulder button and like fill in more of an area. So if you made like a hole and if you wanted to fill that hole in like a hole of like six by six tiles, hold down L and it would fill the whole lot in. But there we go. Right, have we got any more? No, we need to go and get some more fencing. Right, there's plenty over here. I have no idea if we're messing with our island rating right now. Probably. Jump over. We're going to grab a lot of it because this is this is going to go anyway but it doesn't necessarily have to be fences along the end by the along the edge of the cliffs by the way we could add some waterfalls in there to try and make it look a little bit more unique but i know a lot of people do that so oh we haven't got a slingshot no Might have to fill that side in uh, later off recording, maybe. Right, so we're gonna... We might use different fences at some point. But I imagine another slope would probably go in here. Or just a pathway and some steps. Or maybe just a pathway straight through to more houses. I don't know yet. Um, so let's see, where's the next one going to go? Yeah, I think it's best to put the slope in the centre. Because if we put the slope here, we're going to need another tile around the edge. Because we can't have a slope on the edge, can we? I don't think. So if we put a slope on the outer edge again, we'd have to have, I think, another... Um, cliff on the outer edge. So this fence here might not be permanent, but it's definitely going to help us mark out this plot. So let's get this down. We'll probably change this at some point. more of a path path like so don't think we can go under that can we should have put it there before we constructed it yeah so i get the feeling we're going to have another slope pretty close to this little path here
Okay, so this has given us an idea of what it will be like. And if you think this is mirrored the other side, we can have the campsite in the middle there. Um, and then essentially the next row of houses behind this, but slightly higher. And it, things will start looking a bit like a community street. I imagine, actually, the ones behind will have a big street across the top because the campsite will... This will eventually loop around to the other side there. It's a shame we can't um, jump this. Um, what we could do... I think... this oh uh, we can't do two sides we can't fit through there can we we could do this and, and still fit through here and then we could jump over there but if we do that side it disappears which is a bit annoying um Leave that there, something to think about. Maybe we'll put something cool and hidden. Hidden there. Yeah, so we can't really do anything with that. So yeah, there we go. A couple of plots ready. It feels good. And then we might end up making this wider because I do want to maybe include some like parks or maybe like, you know, like the little build we did over here with the, the balloon and the, and the ride on. Include little things like that just to fill in some space. They don't have to be massive. Definitely like incorporate like this little area somewhere. Right, Whew, let's chill for a bit. Let's go and find the mystery bottle. We're definitely gonna want to change this entrance. I'm not too, I'm not super thrilled about the way this entrance is looking, so we'll probably tweak that. Again, if I make any changes offline, I'll uh, like, if when I'm not recording, um, haven't really played offline yet other than time traveling for nooks, but if I do, I'll let you know as soon as we start up the next episode. Um, I'll just keep you updated with what we've uh, changed, if anything. Hopefully we can find the mystery bottle. Oh, we need to go and buy a new slingshot. I keep hearing that uh, thing. Yeah, it would be helpful if we could destroy things at the same time. So we can get rid of the bridges. Whoa. Get back here, you. That's a big butterfly. There we go. Found it. Right, actually, I know what would be really cool to put in that little gap already. I think we'll save some of the smaller pretty builds for, um, like, in between the plots. What we could put on the outer edge is that big cylinder building. Like, I forget what they call it. It's like a, like a storage thing for, like, they have on farms. Like a silo thing. I can't remember what they call it in this game. But I think it's a brick one. Let's see. Um, oh yes, we have to buy, <laughs> we got enough. Do we want to be wasting our Nick Miles on it? This thing, oh, it is a silo. Oh, we don't have enough, okay. I might steal the silo from my other island, maybe. Are we allowed to do that? We haven't decided that rule yet, have we? Um, is there anything here that would be cool to hide behind resident services? Um, some floating blocks are cool, aren't they? Have we got a floating block in here? Where are the... Oh, here it is. <laughs> I couldn't see it. Let's order a bunch of these. 
It might be good to put around the campsite or something. Just something fun. Right, was that four I ordered, I think? Excellent. Right. That is that. Now, there should be someone crafting as well. I wonder if Nook will let us move the camps. Oh, we can't do it until we fill in the river anyway. Um. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot Flora doesn't have her normal house. Which is a bit annoying. We'd have to complete Happy Home Paradise in order to change it. Okay, why, why isn't anyone home? Who are we, who are we missing? Oh, here it is. It's right in front of us. Not paying attention. Right. Hopefully someone's crafting. Egbert, hey! Please be something cool. What are you doing? I'm making a clatter cart. Oh. What is that thing behind you, by the way? That's like heating stove. That's super interesting. Thank you. We'll take all we can get, to be fair. Um, and we've got a modeling clay. These aren't really going to be that helpful. <laughs> but this thing, this item here is really cool. Not seen that before. Don't recognize that. Okay, I guess. I mean, the money rock should be here somewhere. We should probably collect the money rock. And I think that's a productive day. We'll have to earn some more Nook Mars to try and get the water permit and the... So we can buy the silo. The silo goes really well with like the brick oven and things like that as well. Okay. Oh, oh no! Oh well, we've got a <laughs> got a little bit. Better than nothing. Again, this little build here will probably end up moving. Uh, up here at some point. So we're gonna to want to path around the museum as well and to this area. So yeah, we could if we could get kind of two plots laid out a day, or at least get them ready to move, then we can also focus on things like bringing our paths around here. Um, so yeah, I think that is a really good place to stop. Can we grab this leaf? No. We couldn't squeeze. Oh, it's still there. Oh, no, it ran away. But there we go. I think that's a good place to wrap it up. Finally, we made some progress um, and did some terraforming, got some plots ready, moved a plot, um, set up a slope, and I'm feeling a little bit more confident, a little bit better about the direction of this island. So thank you so much for making it to the end. Let me know your thoughts on the plot positions and things like that. And if you have any ideas for small builds or what we can do behind resident services, things like that. Or any ideas of how we can link like the pathways to the entrance of the island and stuff. That would be really cool. But thank you so much for watching um, and making it to the end of the video. And of course, a huge shout out to the channel members that make all this possible. Couldn't do it without you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.